Let's just call it quits. We won't call it quits. We'll call it the start. Hello, everybody, and welcome again to Feckin' Keystone Film Review. We just saw The Banshees of Inner Sheeran. Written and directed by Michael David Charles Hicks, starring Taylor Ray <laughs> Cole and Jason Brown. Oh, sorry. That's just my movie, Banshee. Wrong film. Coming soon. Shameless plug there. Banshees of Inner Sheeran, written directed, also, but that's just called Banshee, not Banshees of mm -hmm. Inner Sheeran. Written directed by Martin McDonough, starring Colin Farrell, Brennan Gleason, Carrie Condon, and Barry Keegan, as well as several other, I'm assuming, Irish actors. Uh, it is about two friends, one of which no longer wants to be friends, and uh, they live in Ireland, and it's feckin' Irish for sure. A oh, small little island right off the coast of Ireland. Quite there. possibly the mm. most Irish film I've ever seen. It's pretty Irish. It's pretty Irish in a great way. Uh, this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year. Mm -hmm. Love Martin McDonough uh, in Bruges, Seven Psychopaths, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. And he's back with Colin Farrell and Martin, and Martin McDonough. He is Martin, Martin McDonough. And Brent Gleason. It is a hilariously dark movie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As is Martin McDonough's style. Uh, and I feckin' loved it. It had its moments. It did. Uh, a lot of which. Uh, hard to, for me, to talk about, to be honest. Uh, from the trailer, I, honestly, you gotta kinda grasp what we were looking into, but, mm -hmm. uh, watching the trailer, like, it didn't, it, I was excited, for, obviously, for the obvious reasons, you know, Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson, and all the movies they've all made together. Mm -hmm. Um, I wasn't overly ec ecstatic. You know, jump in for jizz, joy. Sorry. But I was. I was jumping for jizz and joy for this movie, watching it. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Sad and brooding. Yes, as is Martin McDonough's style, mm -hmm. really. Uh, if, you see, if you've seen any of his movies, they're all very funny and very sad at the same time. Mm -hmm. uh, which is, just feels like it's the Irish spirit. Uh, yeah. You know, they're all, they're very happy people, but also deep inside have their demons. Uh, granted, that's just generalization. That is the stereotype of them. Uh, I know my family, my Irish side of the family is kind of like that. But so is the Swedish side of my family. So, um... Maybe we're all depressed. Maybe it's just North Atlantic people. <laughs> Those bastards. Those bastards. But this, honestly, like, I was expecting good things from this, but it exceeded even those expectations. It was funnier than I thought it was going to be. It wasn't as repetitive as I thought it was going to be. It, it changed it up a lot. You know, in, in the trailer, it could easily have just gone a very formulaic talk to me, cut off a finger, talk to me, cut off a finger, mm -hmm. montage sort of thing. And a lesser director would have probably done that. Uh, but it, it kept it very uh, intriguing and, and changed it up. And, uh, and you wondered where it was kind of going. Yeah, yeah. The end. It's, it's uh, I read, I don't know how true this is because I didn't read it from something Martin McDonough said. Uh, it, it's kind of like an allegory for the Irish Civil War in the 1920s, I want to say. It takes place in the 1920s during the Irish Civil War, just 20, on an... 23. Yes, on an island off the coast, uh, the west coast of Ireland. It, it kind of really has that, because, you know, if you know anything of the... I'm not an expert in the Irish Civil War, but if you know anything about it, it's, it's a lot like the American Civil War, where it's just family and friends fighting family and friends. And that's kind of where this kind of all takes place. I liked how much it stayed within that and kind of stuck with the Irish culture of everything. Uh, showing the beautiful Irish landscape, which... Love it. It's fantastic landscape. The, the heritage with the drinking. Generally a hard movie to talk about. I know I had yeah. dumb brain in the beginning of this. Generally a really hard movie to talk about without going into super details about super it. Super detail. Um, yeah. The name of the movie speaks for itself at a certain point in it when it's spoken and you're like roll credits but you don't roll credits it just keeps going and then there's a point where I'm like are they the banshee is this said person the banshee and then there's a line set in it that it, that it had me more intrigued but I can't go into detail about that and I'm not gonna let let you let me get into detail about that you're gonna have to watch the movie and sit there and go wow Glenn's kind of right whatever the fuck he yeah. was talking about uh, but it was it was really really funny exceeded all expectations even though I, I said I didn't really have too many it was it was funny it was cute there's a fucking donkey that's absolutely adorable mm -hmm. uh, 
A and dog that's adorable. A dog that's adorable. A cow that's adorable. Mm-hmm. A horse that's adorable. And I like a Colin Farrell that's adorable. I like how small scope it was. Like there wasn't that many people. Like it was like a small town, but like there wasn't that many people besides that. There wasn't more many speaking roles. Yeah, yeah, there wasn't outliers of absolute. Um, background characters or anything like that. You had like a group of a dozen people that you you knew, and there wasn't like back and forth swinging through people. I I really enjoyed it. It was fun. Mm-hmm. It was charismatic, and very enjoyable. Yes, uh, great performances from everyone, uh, especially Carrie Condon. I believe her name is. She plays Siobhan, mm-hmm. uh, who is Colin Farrell's character, Paul Dre, uh, his his uh, sister in the film. Barry Keegan as well. He he plays a a, uh, a slow person, uh, a mentally challenged person. Um, he did it in such a way where it just kind of seemed like he's just awkward in a he way. Yeah, he had a lot of like kind of ticks. When, yeah, like it, somebody said something he didn't like. He's just like, yeah, yeah. So, and so like, he, there's a lot of nuance to his to his performance. And what uh, honestly, one of the best performances I've seen from him. He's a great actor. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's just not in a lot yet. Yeah. Um. And uh, every time I see him, I love him. He's he's great in like every movie he's in. Uh, but the performances, even from like the secondary characters, like the uh, I don't know who, what his name is, but he plays like the the barkeep uh, in the film. He's he's great too. Like yeah. just every minor character is also great. Him him and the uh, the character that was sitting with him at the bar. Yeah. Oh my god, they were hilarious. Yeah, it kind of reminded me of the brothers in the sand. I know you <laughs> haven't seen the sand right? No. Yeah, no. the 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 brothers where the younger one like repeats him. Mm-hmm. Who repeats the older one? It re- or, <laughs> the or, Sultan of SWAT. The Sultan of SWAT. Or like the two um, police officers in Hot Fuzz. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. The Andes. Yeah. It's just an overall great film. Another fantastic film from Martin McDonough. Mm-hmm. Uh, honestly, in the past two weeks alone, my top ten for 2022 has changed significantly. We're in good movie season, people, We're and I'm here for it. We're strapping on. Yes. Uh, but that's really all I got to say. It's a fantastic mm-hmm. film. You should check it out. Check it out in theaters if you can. Great crowd for us again. Yeah. Everybody um, was laughing. Genuinely, like, just yeah. wholehearted laughter. It was it was a fun movie. It just wasn't laughter for us. It was laughter for the crowd. Yes. Which is saying something. So. Yes. And not just me who laughs at everything. Because I never keep myself from laughing. I don't understand why people do don't that. Don't hold back. You got to do Don't hold it. back laughter. You only have one life to live. You only have. And one you might life get hit by a bread truck at some point. Yeah, <laughs> a feckin' bread truck. Uh, Killed me down. Ratings. Uh, da, 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 da. Four and a half. Damn. Uh, so last week we did tri- Triangle Sadness. I the video still says a five. I actually thought about it and it's a four and a half. Mm. Maybe I don't know. What did I? Ju- it might be a five. I don't remember. I you, always get self conscious when I give things too many things a, five. You put a five in the video. Yeah. Since- it might be a five. I've gone back and forth on Triangle yeah. Sadness, uh, and I, I I don't know why I get self conscious giving things fives. Uh, don't deprive yourself of loving something. <laughs> Just don't. So I'm gonna give this a five. This is like a hard five, not like tri- Triangle Sadness is good. Yeah. But this is like for me, Ireland actually, check actually deserves. Uh, a five. Funny and Dark, my favorite thing. You know me, I love yeah, Funny absolutely. and Dark. Check. Uh, a donkey. I didn't know that was a check, but it's a check. It's a, a dog. <laughs> check. Brendan Gleeson, Colin Farrell. Check. Check. Uh, so this is a hard five for me. Not even gonna go back on it. Mm-hmm. And. I just love that we're in good movie season. Well, I'm so happy to. It's too. been a slow that. year up until now, and mm-hmm. I'm feckin' here for it. Fucking hell, man. Feckin'. If you saw The Banshees of Inner Sheeran, what did you think? Comment down below, let us know. If you saw my film Banshee, where the fuck did you get it? It's not out yet. And don't talk about that damn show on the comments. Yeah, thread. don't talk about that guy who <laughs> used my fucking movie on Letterboxd to talk about the goddamn show. Letterboxd is for fucking movies, not TV shows. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting a little angry. Sometimes it's for TV shows. I'm glad it's it was rare. a four out of five, but then people were just like, oh, this movie doesn't fucking matter. It's a four. Hmm. How dare you? How dare you? Comment down below. If that guy's an asshole for. Talking about a TV show on my movie. That banshee bastard. (laughs) (sighs) Goodbye, everybody. Bye.